Good morning. Welcome to Total Body Conditioning. Um, so I have the chair behind me, not so I will trip over, but to remind me to say that in the second half of the workout, we are going to be doing single leg get ups. So you're going to want a chair, um, one that's super stable close by for those. I'll get to demonstrating that move if you don't know what it is once we get there, but just um, I don't want to be like halfway through the workout and say, oh, go grab a chair. All right. So now I've moved the chair out of the way, so I've got that out of my system. Um, the workout today is going to start out with just 10 reps of three strength moves, followed by just 20 seconds of three cardio moves. Then we're going to repeat those six moves, but start upping everything to, um, let's get the arms going all the way up, 15 reps for the strength moves, 40 seconds for the timed cardio moves, then the last round is going to be 20 reps for the strength moves and um, one minute for the cardio. So. It's just exactly the reverse of what we did last week when we started out with the high, high reps, long time, and everything got less and less and less. This time it's gonna get more and more and more. Swing that arm across horizontally, keep the feet moving. In, ter in terms of equipment that you're gonna need today, um, I already mentioned the chair. Uh, a variety of weights would be good. We are doing push-ups, so you want to figure out where you want to do those, whether it's on the floor, against your kitchen counter, against a wall. I'm going to be doing them here against my sofa. And we are, in fact, going to try and do 20 reps, so think about that. I'd rather have you more vertical when you're doing those push-ups. All right. Butt kickers, heels to your bottom, upper part of your leg, nice and straight. Feel the stretch right here. Let's get the arms swinging. Keep this going. Want to make sure we got a nice, nice warm up. Let's make the arms more active. Take the hands forward, pulling them all the way back, squeezing your shoulder blades at the back part of the move. Let's do five more. Four, three, two, last one. All right, I'm gonna go back to just marching in place, interlocking those fingers, a big shoulder stretch here. Up comes the arms, break them apart, make a big circle. Eyes looking straight ahead. If you're not quite as flexible and can't get your biceps next to your ears, if you can come here and then break your hands apart, that's fine. You are just taking those hands as high as you can with no pain. And if that's all the way with biceps next to your ears, awesome. If it's something less, that's fine. We're just trying to Move those shoulders, get them warmed up. Let's do three more. Two more. Last one. Well, warming up, I guess. All right, I'm gonna grab my chair just uh, for balance. Knee circles. Pull the knee up and out. And I am kind of taking the knee in a very big circle, externally rotating the hip. Two more. Last one. And you know, if your balance is really good and you feel like you don't need to hold on, you don't have to hold on. I just find sometimes I'm hopping around 
and it just takes away from the, the movement. Let's do three more, two more, last one, nice. Uh, leg swings, since we're here, leg is nice and straight, foot is in a flex position. Your body is very vertical. Um, I don't really want your torso changing positions. Everything feels good. Start kicking your leg up a little higher with control. All right, everything feels good. Let's go as high as we can. For five, four, three, two, one. Other leg, same progression. We want to, you know, five or 10 times just to get that hamstring moving, especially if you've been sitting down. You gotta give your chance of body to loosen up and warm up. All right, everything's feeling good. Let's start taking that foot a little bit higher. All right, let's go as high as we can for five, four, three, two, last one. Nice. All right, we've got a couple more stretches left. I know I'm not exactly doing everything in perfect order today. That's all right. Reaching over, warming up the lats. Remember, this is not much of a side bend. Yes, my spine is bending a little bit. Mostly, it's a big reach over with that hand. Two more per side. Last one. All right, we're going to finish with a little rotation, reaching across. Eyes are following your hands. Lifting up that heel to make sure I'm taking the pressure off my knee. Three more. Two more, last one, good. All right, so we're gonna just start out with our three strength moves. Reverse lunge with an overhead press is number one. Push-ups are number two. And number three is a side lunge plus a lateral leg raise. So these should all start out pretty easy. Reverse lunge with an overhead press. I'm gonna start, elbows are in line with my Wrists, palms are facing in. Weights are parallel with the ground. A lot of times I see people holding their weights like that. Mm -mm, let's get them up here. Reverse lunge. You're going to step it back, go down, up comes the weight. As you stand up, weights come back to the start position. If the reverse lunge does not work for you, a couple things. Do it a little more shallow. That's fine. If that's not working for you, then you can just turn it into a butt kicker. 10 on one side, 10 on the other. Do the overhead press. With the overhead press, usually palms facing in, that's the easiest version of the overhead press. If that's not working for you, turn it into a front raise, okay? Here we go. Reverse lunge combined with an overhead press. 10 on one side. Ooh, how are we gonna do this? Let me think. Um, huh. Let's do um, single arm. So I'm going to take up the take up the same yeah same side arm that's stepping back. Is one that's going in the air. Sorry, sorry. That as I'm noodling through this, um, and let's alternate one side and then the other. Uh, here we go. That's one. Two. Three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nice. Push ups are next. Find your spot where you want to do them. Hands are going to be a little wider than shoulder width apart. Get up on my toes. The first thing I'm going to do, tuck in that tailbone, tighten up my abs. Shoulder blades are locked down. Here we go for 10 of them. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one, nice job. <laughs> that one's only gonna get harder. Last move we're gonna do, side lunge with a lateral leg raise. We're gonna do 10 side lunges on one side, then 10 on the other. Gonna bring that leg up. It's gonna look like this. That's one, two, right? We don't bring the leg all the way back. All right, let's do 10 of these on one side, 10 on the other, here we go. Take it down. Bring the leg up for one. Push those hips back. Bring the leg up for two. Three, knee stays behind the toe. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. If the side lunge is not working for you, then just do the lateral leg raise portion, okay? Other side, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. First round of strength move is over. Now we're gonna to go to cardio. 20, 20, 20, and I love to not stop the clock as we do these. So the first one, clap and jack, okay? Jumping jack with clapping hands. Then we're gonna to go do a high speed row. I would recommend grabbing really light weights. Like I'm gonna use my tooth. I'm in my bent over row position alternating one side and then the other as quick as I can. Last move. Oh joy, mountain climber. Down here, driving those knees forward just as fast as I can, okay? It's only 20 seconds, so hopefully that'll all go swimmingly. I'm just going to change the angle slightly here. All right, so it's one, oh that's bad, one furious minute. On your mark. Oh, let me get my clock. Clock is falling asleep. Good set. Clap jacks. Here we go. Nice and fast. Remember, if you can't do the jumping, tap it fast. If you are jumping, you're on the balls of your feet. The clap is just a follow through. It's the hands coming back that's the main part of the move. For two, one, time. High speed row. Let's go. Go, 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 go. Hips are pushed back. Back is nice and flat. Pulling those elbows up as fast as you can. Hands to the waist. Go, 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 go. We've got mountain climbers in three, two, one. Here we go. Let's go. Drive those knees forward. Keep going. I gotta get the clock where I can see it. Go, 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 go. For five, four, three, two, one. Woo. Oh, can't wait till I'm doing all this for a minute. All right, so now we're gonna go back to the first move. Reverse lunge with an overhead press.
As always, if you start to feel a little lightheaded, try taking the overhead press out of the equation. Sometimes when we've just done something cardio and then we've got arms overhead, that can be not the world's greatest combo, okay? And I think I'm gonna switch the order of some of these. All right, step it back, alternating. One side up, the other one's passive. Here we go. One, 15 of these. Two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> Sorry, form's going about seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Next, 15 push-ups. Remember, our elbows are gonna be at a 45 degree angle to our body. Here's zero, here's 90. Elbows are gonna be right here as we go up and down. You're gonna get up on your toes, tuck in that tailbone, no movement in your spine. 15 of them, here we go. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 12, 13, 14, 15. All right, lateral leg raises, I'm sorry, side lunges with a lateral leg raise. Remember the alternative is to just do the lateral leg raise. If you're doing just the lateral leg raise, make sure you are leading with that heel. You'll feel the work right here. Here we go, 15 on one side, 15 on the other. There's one, push those hips back. Two, three, knees behind the toe. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Other leg, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. All right, clap jacks are next. 40 seconds with these. Again, the clock's gonna run the whole time. So I'm gonna kind of have everything queued up. <laughs> Maybe even my timer I'll queue up this time. All right. Clapping and doing jumping jacks. Here we go. On the balls of your feet. Nice and fast. Remember, if you're not jumping, I still want you to have a nice, quick tempo, right? This is what I'm talking about, okay? 10 seconds to go. Then we're gonna grab 
some light weights or not, and do a high speed bench over row. In three, two, one. Here we go, get yourself in position, let's go. Remember the focus, pulling the elbows up. No movement in your spine or your hips or your legs, just your arms. Fifteen seconds to go. Keep that tempo high. Then we got mountain climbers. In five, four, three, two, one. Time. Mountain climbers. Here we go. Let's go. Driving those knees forward. Keep going. Drive those knees. Come on. Go, go, go. I know this is hard. We've got 15 seconds left here. 10. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And time. Nice job. Whew. All right. I'm going to grab a quick drink of water and we're getting ready for our third and final round. This time we're going to start with the side lunges. All right, side lunge to lateral leg raise or just the lateral leg raise. Here we go, 20 of them. And that is 20 per leg. I know it's gonna take us a while, that's okay. Here we go, take it down, bring the foot up for one, two, three, four. Push those hips back, five. Knee is behind the toe, six, seven. Here it is in profile, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. That is a lot of those. Whew. Other side. Here we go. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, five more, sixteen, seventeen. 18, 19, 20. All right, three minutes nonstop, starting with the clap jacks. On your mark, get set, let's go. One minute here. Then we're gonna do one minute of high speed row, then one painful minute of mountain climbers, all right? Remember, our knees are nice and soft as we're doing this. Eyes are looking straight ahead. Focuses on pulling those hands back with control. Keep it going. 30 seconds down, 30 to go with this move. I know it's hard with no break, so you can do the best you can. If you're just out of air, you gotta catch your breath, do it. Five seconds to go. Time, if you're using weights, let's grab them, go. Please do not use this as just a giant rest. 
I want your arms going fast. And if you need to drop your weights to do it, that's fine. Let's pick it up. Thirty seconds down, thirty to go. Twenty seconds to go. Come on, faster, let's go. For ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. Three, two, one. Mountain climbers. And go, 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 go. Let's go. One minute here. Then we get a rest. We get a water break. We're going to catch our breath before we start our next set. Keep driving those knees forward. Even if you got to slow down a little bit. I want the knees driving forward. I'd rather that than you're doing it fast and making the move really small. Go, go, go. 15 seconds to go. Time. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I forgot two of the strength moves. Oh gosh. Not to fear. We're going to do 20 push ups and we are going to do 20 reverse lunges. But we are going to catch our breath first. I'm so sorry about that. Oh. You know, I reversed the order and it just confused me, which. It's easy to do. So we still need to do 20 push ups, 20 reverse lunges with an overhead press. But the cardio is finished for this segment. All right, let's do the push ups first. 20 of them. Same little lecture as always. Try to put this work in the front part of our shoulders and into our chest. Those are the muscles that should be moving. Everything else is isometrically holding us nice and tight. 20 of these, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 19, 20. All right, 20 reverse lunges. With the overhead press. Up on the weights, alternating one side and then the other. It's also single arm. Here we go. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, 
11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. All right, now we're done with that set. Oh gosh. All right, so our next set is gonna start with a reverse fly. We'll start with just 10 of those. Remember, reverse fly, tree hugger pose. Hips are pushed back, knees are soft. Knees are more than soft, knees are bent. Back is perfectly flat. Out come the weights, back together. Okay, 10 of those. Feel your shoulder blades pull together. Also make sure that the weights stay in line with your chest, okay? Then we do single leg get ups. And then we'll see. All right, 15 of these. Here we go. One, two, control the descent. Three, don't let them just swing down. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Single leg get ups. 10 on one side, 10 on the other. If possible, put your chair against a wall. Just make sure you've got a nice, stable chair because it's a big move and you don't want to sit down and have your chair collapse or fall backwards, all right? We're going to do 10 on one leg, 10 on the other. As most of you know by now, pulling your hands to your side as you stand up is an aid. You want to make it harder, just have that arms overhead or across your chest. Don't let them participate. All right, so the move just to show you the whole thing here. Stand up, sit down. Uh, some people find it irritating to sit down in that single leg pose. Fine, stand up with one leg, go down on two. Also, if the whole thing is not working for you, you can try putting a cushion on your chair to lift you up a little bit higher. That may make it doable. Or uh, you can always do sit to stand, okay? All right. We're going to be doing a lot of them if you do that since we're doing 10 on one side, 10 on the other. Let's get this started. Here's one, two, three, Four. I want to do it at this angle so you can see what I'm doing. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Also, you may notice I'm not just plopping down in the chair. Okay? Let's do the other leg. I'm gonna get the chair back here. It's a little safer. And here we go. One, two. If I'm still a little unstable, I put that toe down. Three to balance myself. Four, I'm trying not to, but five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, nice. I don't think we're gonna be doing 20 of that. That move is just too extreme. Lateral raises, 10 of them. Shoulders are down, what do I mean by that? Ears up in a shrug, let them drop, lock them down, that's down. Shoulder blades are locked down. Tummy's nice and tight. Pull your hands as far away from your body as you can. Don't go any higher than your shoulders. For one, 
Pull those hands up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nice. Okay, now it's to our cardio moves. We're going to do squat to toes. I know, hard to believe I'm not doing squat jacks, but I'm not. Squat to toes. Down into the squat, up onto my toes. Explode up, as if you're doing a jump, we're just not getting airborne. 20 seconds of that. Then we are immediately switching to the boxing ring. One, two, one, two, one, two. Okay, with or without weights. I think I will use some light weights. That's your choice. And then our last one in this um, segment is a side shuffle. But I want you to go to a little high, high knee hold as you switch positions. So I'm gonna shuffle, 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 shuffle. Let's do one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, okay? So we're just gonna have this momentary pause before we go in the other direction. All right, squat to toes. Only 20 seconds. On your mark, get set, let's go. Explode up. Your squat does not have to be as low as mine, but I do want you to challenge yourself to do as low a squat as you can with good form. Of course, your knees are behind your toes. If this is not working for you at all, then you're gonna be doing this, okay? Where it's just a little um, dip and then up to your toes. Woo! That's 20 seconds, goodness sakes. One, two, one, two. Let's go. One, two, one, two. That was way more than 20 seconds, sorry. Go, 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 go. For five, four, three, two, one. Side shuffle with that high knee hold. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Five, four, five, five, one, two, three, four, five, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. Nice time. Okay. Sorry about the first one going on and on and on. We're back to reverse flies. Fifteen of them. More big breaths. All right, we're gonna get ourselves in position. That means push your hips back. Elbows are nice and soft. Oh, maybe this ankle is gonna show you the best. 15 of these, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Single leg get ups. I think fifteen per leg is going to be our max on this. Let's do 12 this time. This one's just too hard to do 20. If, if you are a superstar, go ahead and do 15 this time, 20 next. I just feel like for most of us, it's too much. So we'll do 12 and 12. Here we go. Let's stand up and back down for one, two, three. Stand up all the way, nice and tall. Four, five. Glutes are tight, right here, tight it up. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 
11, last one, 12, other leg, here we go, one, two, three, if you have pain in your knee when you do this, four, do sit to stand, five, I don't want you to power through this if, it's, if it hurts you, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, <laughs> 11, <laughs> 12. Okay, that's it. We're doing 12 instead of 15. Next round will be 15 instead of 20. Lateral arm raises, 15 of them. Tighten up those abs. Again, I'm gonna do a quick shrug to set my shoulders. Abs are tight. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, no higher than your shoulders, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, three more, 13, 14, 15, nice. Okay, back to cardio, which we're doing this time for 40 seconds. So I'm gonna make a deal with you. Since we did squat to toes for 40 seconds, this time we're only gonna do it for 20 seconds, all right? So we'll even it out. Then we're gonna do a little boxing with or without weight, just straight punches. And then we're gonna do that little five step shuffle with the high knee sort of pause, change in direction. Squat to toes. Only 20 seconds here. On your mark, get set, let's go. Remember, we're only doing it for 20 seconds. If you feel like you wanna do a squat jump, be my guest. Five seconds to go, then we're in the boxing ring. Time, let's go. Forty seconds here with this one, and the side shuffle is also going to be forty seconds. The only reason we did that one for only twenty was because I messed up the timing on the first round. Woo! Oh, I got to get rid of the weights. I can't go very fast because my arms are tired, and I want to go fast on this one. Woo! Five, four. Three, two, one, side shuffle. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. We're doing this for 40 seconds. Twenty seconds down, twenty to go. Five seconds to go. Time. All right. We're going to catch our breath. I'm going to grab some water. We've got our final round. 20. 20 reverse fly. 15 single leg get up. 20 lateral arm raises. Everything else we're going to do for a minute. All right, 20 reverse flies. Same little lecture. Arms are soft, hips are pushed back, back is nice and flat. Take it up quickly, down with control. One, two, we're doing 20 of these. Three, 
four, weights are in line with your chest, five, throughout the move, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. All right, that was the last of those. I'm gonna say this one more time so I don't forget. 15 single leg get ups per leg. That's plenty. If 15 is too many, do less. If 15 is not enough, do more. All right, here we go. Up, squeeze your tushy at the top. Come on back down for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We got five more. Eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15. Same thing, other leg, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, three more, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Those are hard. Lateral arm raises. So remember with these, abs are tight throughout because as we get tired, it's easy to do all kinds of weird things to try and recruit all kinds of muscles to help us complete the move. Shoulders are down, we're not elevating our traps, keep them down. Remember, pull your hands away from your body, that's the motion. 20, here we go. One, two, Three, my abs are tight, my glutes are tight. Four, five, six, eyes are looking straight ahead. Seven, eight, nine, control the descent. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. That's a lot of those. Okay, next we've got our three cardio moves, which we are gonna do for one minute per move, starting with squat to toes, then we're in the boxing ring and you saw I got rid of my weights because I felt like I, my arms were so tired. They were just moving slowly. Then we're gonna do that side shuffle with a high knee pause. All right, squat to toes, one minute. Remember we're doing this for cardio. So we're going quick on your mark, get set, let's go. And up, up on those toes, up on those toes. Halfway there, 30 down, 30 to go. I'm not getting airborne, but I'm almost as close as I can. Whew. 
If you're running out of gas, just do the best you can. I know I am. 15 seconds to go. 10. Five, four, three, two, one. We're in the boxing ring. Let's go. Bam, 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 bam. Get the tempo. Feeling strong? Grab some light dumbbells. If you're using the dumbbells, tempo's gonna be slower. That's fine. My tempo. I'm getting rid of those puppies. Here we go. Bam, 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 bam. Try and get full extension in your arms. Keep going. For 10, 5, 4. What's going on with my music? 3, 2, one side shuffle. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Keep it going nice and quick. One, two, three, four, five. Three, four, five. Halfway there, 30 seconds down, 30 to go. Try and keep the tempo high. This is the last of the cardio moves. We're on the floor with a little bit of core and stretching in 15 seconds. In five, four, three, two, one. All right. Catch your breath. Let's get the mat on the floor. You do not need any weights down here. It's gonna be all body weight. Whew. All right, we're gonna start. Let me start with a drink of water. And then we're gonna do some oblique crunches. So oblique crunches are like this, where you're going one elbow towards one knee, elbow towards the other. Harder, arms straight. Please don't use any weight with this, okay? Just, it's just too, it's just not a move that I want you using weights. How can I explain that? I know some of you on the knees, no can do. You're gonna be here. Doing windshield wiper. If windshield wiper is too easy, straighten your legs. Then it's a whole different exercise, much, much harder. Or something in between, where your legs are not completely straight, but they're not bent at 90. All right, we're gonna do 10 on one side, 10 on the other. And I am feeling this in my knee, so I'm just gonna double up my mat, give my knee a little more cushion. Here we go, nice and slow. That's one. So this is kind of half stretch, two, half oblique exercise, three, four. I want your body perpendicular with the floor. Five. Six, eyes are looking straight ahead. 
seven, eight, nine, 10. Other side, same exact thing. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. All right, we're gonna do a one minute plank next. The core moves. Sadly, we're only doing one set. Feel free to come back and do another set after we're done. Standard plank, one minute. I'm gonna tuck in that tailbone. That's gonna slightly lift up my twitchy in my back. Eyes are looking straight down at the mat. Elbows are in line with my shoulders. And now I'm just gonna try and relax and breathe. Although I'm not relaxing my abs, I'm not relaxing my glutes. I'm trying to relax my hands and also my breath. 30 seconds down, 30 to go. Fifteen seconds to go. Ten. Five, four, three, two, one. Time. All right, we're going to get on our backs. One round of marching bridges. I know I'm extremely red in the face. That just shows you I'm working hard. Um, <laughs> All right, so we're on our back. You're going to tighten up your tushy, get into a plank, and then we're gonna march for 20, nice and slow. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. I'm just gonna hug my knees to my chest, rock back and forth for just a second. Get my back to relax a little bit. All right, let's get started with the old hamstring stretch. Leg is straight, foot is in a flex position. Pull the leg forward. Keep holding it here for five, four, three, two, one. Switch legs. Nice and straight. And just hold on. For five, four, three, two, one. Next we're gonna do supine twist. You're welcome to do a figure four if you prefer that. Um, so I'm gonna put my foot up on my thigh. I'm gonna be twisting over. If twisting is not such a good thing for you, you are gonna just sit here 
hugging the knee to your chest. You still stretch your back this way, just not, just not nearly as intensely. And this really isn't a back stretch. This is a, a glute stretch. Um, passive arm is out wide. I'm slowly taking the knee over. If you want to add a little intensity, look over the arm that's uh, pointing the other direction. Hold it here for five, four, three, two, one. Come on back up and again, nice and slowly. We're gonna put the foot on the thigh. The arm is out wide, guiding the knee over. And hold it here for five, four, three, two, one. Come on back up. All right, let's do a sideline um, quad stretch. Knee is in line with the hip, and now I'm pulling the knee back. I am pulling the foot up also. I'm just not cramming it into my bottom. Hold it here for five. Four, three, two, one. Keep pulling the knee back for five, four, three, two, one. Good, let's stand up for a couple more stretches. First one is gonna be the calf stretch. Back heel is flat on the floor. Push your, push your hips forward. For five, four, three, two, one. Switch positions. Ooh, this one's quite a bit tighter than the other one. Press those hips forward. Feel a nice big stretch in your calf. For five, four, three, two, one. Uh, next, I want to stretch my um, this out of the way. I'm going to stretch my um, chest. So, if you've got a door jam, you can put your palm against the door jam, and then you're going to twist in the other direction. Alternatively, you can always do, you know, this one where you're just on a wall, okay? If you got a door jam handy, this one's, I mean, they're really the same stretch. So I'm turning this way. Feel this stretch, it starts out in my bicep, comes across my um, shoulder, and into my chest for five, four, three, two, one. Switch sides. Oh, you can't see what I'm doing. I get a little better position. There we go. Arm is straight. For five, four, three, two, one. 
Let's do a couple of shoulder rolls. Last stretch, tricep stretch. Keep trying to push that elbow up and back for five, four, three, two, one. Shake it off, other side. Four, three, two, one. Couple of shoulder rolls. Awesome. All right. Thanks for joining me. And I hope to see you on Tuesday. Bye bye.